Well, it turns out a little time in the sun could make things a little brighter for millions of prostate cancer patients. This after researchers discovered that vitamin D can help block a chemical that causes the tumors to grow. Dr. Samadhi, you're up on this one. I want to find out how much time in the sun are we talking? And also, do you have to couple that with over-the-counter vitamins like vitamin D3 as well? Yes, Arthur, this is actually a big, big news. We've been talking about vitamin D when it comes to prostate cancer, dementia, many other diseases, even cognitive skills. But, but when it comes to prostate cancer, now there are recent studies coming in that low vitamin D is associated to very aggressive prostate cancers. Mm -hmm. But we didn't really know exactly how vitamin D is going to prevent prostate cancer. Now we have the answers. We think that sun activates that vitamin D under your skin. Once it's activated, it activates another gene that's called GDF15. And that's what inhibits inflammation and the tumor growth. Big news. So for a lot of people who are thinking about taking vitamin D, you should be taking at least a thousand IU, international unit a day, that's minimum. Talk to your doctors and find out exactly. This is a great news for people that are taking this. Now, low vitamin D increases prostate cancer, causes dementia, schizophrenia, so many other things, including erectile function. So it's a great, important vitamin. And so what we've said is 10 minutes, three times a week is absolutely what you need. So We've been so sun phobia, absolutely, but you have to have exposure of the skin, otherwise it won't work. That's so right. also the other thing that Mark will mention is, for a lot of people who are diagnosed with prostate cancer, this site, Prostate Cancer 911, is available to everyone who is diagnosed with prostate cancer. Call in, and I personally, I still see patients. It's amazing how many people thought I still, I mean, TV, and I don't see patients. you're a rock star on TV now. Yeah, you don't so see I patients. will help all yeah, of you. you. If you're diagnosed with prostate cancer, go to Prostate Cancer cancer911.com and we'll help you. You know, and Very also, good. do you talk about vitamin D? It's not just prostate cancer. Dr. Siegel, talk about women. Apparently, there are deficiencies with vitamin D, and many women have to take vitamin D sometimes. So vitamin, why is it so important? Vitamin D, uh, vitamin D deficiency is an epidemic. I check vitamin D. You, you look for vitamin D 25 hydroxy. That's what you want your internist to be drawing. I draw that in every single patient that comes into my you mean, office. Wait, when you say draw, I mean their blood? Blood test. Okay. Vitamin D 25 hydroxy. Oh, wait. I mean, you don't have to say that, doctor. So you assume the guy who, or the doctor or the technician drawing your blood knows to te check for that. Or no, have I have specific? to put in for that. Really? I have to put in for that. I check it on every single patient for the reasons that Eric was just mentioning. It isn't just prostate cancer, although, by the way, there was an additional study, and I think we talked about this several months ago, showing that advanced prostate cancer, especially in African-American men, correlates with low vitamin D levels. So clearly we're getting more and more evidence that vitamin D is hugely important for prostate cancer prevention, for preventing aggressive prostate cancers, also the breast cancer and colon cancer. And of course bone growth right. is, a, is another issue with it. People that are obese tend to have very, very high, a very, very low vitamin D levels because they, they get it gleaned right out of their bloodstream. The, the fat cells take your vitamin D level, your vitamin D away. Vitamin D is a super hormone. It's more of a hormone than a vitamin. It's important for every organ in the body, the heart, the lungs. We've seen heart disease go up. If you have low vitamin D, it's a really important if vitamin. You, if you take a multivitamin every day, you know, they've got that whole list of like, you know, 40 different little thingies in there. It, it doesn't have vitamin enough. D? That, it that only has about 400 IU, maximum 600. It may not be enough. So what Mark just mentioned is absolutely important. You need to make sure that you get your vitamin D uh, 25 dihydroxy. And also the level should be between 30 to 80. That's the number that you want to remember. It has to be between 30 to 80, usually around 50 nanogram per ml is a normal value. And you get the energy, you get your, you're not fatigued anymore. It really works across the body as a hormone to really so keep you're going. So you're you should, you should t take a supplement? Uh, and the yes, supplement yes, I recommend, yes. by the way, is vitamin, vitamin D3. D3. You taught me that. 2,000 yes. units, actually, mm -hmm. one, to, one to 2,000 units a day, depending on how low you are, because you're probably not going to get enough in the sunshine, especially here in the Northeast. You know, mm. should you go out in the sun to try to get extra vitamin D? That's a real question, because the dermatologist I was with last week would say no, mm -hmm. but maybe 15 minutes to a half hour a day. I want to bring it back to what Dr. Mark said about uh, this being prominent prostate cancer in the African American community. I wanted to ask Dr. Smadi, is this due to diet and is there a way to, to change your diet that would help prevent this? Uh, Arthur, genetics plays a huge role obviously. We also know that among African Americans, 3 to 1 ratio, they have higher chance of getting prostate cancer. But also when you talk about skin, extra pigmentation blocks some of the sun to get through. So you may need a longer period. So when normally they need 10, 15 minutes, you may need to be there for about half an hour to an hour to really get enough sun to 
to activate that vitamin D, and that's really the answer. But look, I think one of the big issues among African American communities, there's a big taboo to go and see the doctor, get the digital rectal exam, they think it's crazy, but it saves your life. It's five minutes, the blood test, the PSA, and we know it's not very specific, but that's all we have. Get tested, know your number. Everybody knows their that's, cholesterol. That's why he started something called Women for Prostate Cancer Health, because Tell us about this. Well, we, have, we have something called women. See, now you're asking. Yeah. Women for prostate health. And there's a, on the Facebook, Dr. David Samadhi, there's a lot of information. It's the women that bring men to the office. It's the women that would look at the guy and say, hey, what's your PSA? Let's go see the doctor. And that's really taking off. And it's saving a lot of lives. I posted it on my Facebook as well. And a lot of women commented. And they're saying, thank you, thank you. Because you're right. It takes... Women are the best, that's all. If you, want to get, if you want to get something done, give it to oh, women. Like, yeah, we all agree. We're, we're, we're. Yeah, we'll listen. Sometimes. Exactly. <laughs>